we cannot move forward as a country. We cannot overcome and prevail if we do not have the basic minimum health parameters in place. Okay. And uh, we, we might likely see to extend the ECQ if we don't have testing in place because uh, our data does not account for testing. Eh, walang testing, Sito, hindi natin malalaman yung totoong picture. Our, 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 our visualizations, our graphs are only based really on data we get from uh, DOH and so are the others. Uh, and, and so it, it, without testing, we, we may not understand the true uh, you know, uh, situation or picture of the pandemic in the Philippines. Hindi alam kasi maraming asymptomatic cases. Kaya uh, we're cautioning government uh, right now on your on your uh, on your own show. Now we we have to get the evidence, the data first before we decide to move from ECQ to GCQ or to even uh, grant GCQ to places. Okay, and we can only do that if we have the minimum uh, health parameters in place, and that's testing, tracing, and supportive isolation. Actually, Sita, um, well, uh, one report cited. Um, at least 30% of the population must be tested. But we don't have that kind of capability. And uh, right now, we're, I think we're targeting 8,000 testing uh, tests per day. Yeah. Um, pang ayun, actually. But if that's the capability that we are able to organize, um, it's better than nothing. So if we have testing na magawa natin na capable tayo, I think that that would be um, yung target natin right now. Because we cannot target 30% of the population. I mean, we, we probably can't even target 1 million people over a, a short period of time. Mm -hmm.